Hey, Chris Menard here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Feel free to subscribe and ring the bell. Also, my Microsoft Teams training course is online, along with my Microsoft Excel online training course. In today's video, we're going to take a look at Copilot, just asking questions about data. I've already done one video on using Copilot and letting it create formulas for you and new columns, which it did. So this is the second video I have on Copilot in Excel. Dive in right now. So here's my data. I've already saved it to OneDrive. I've already created a table. Let's take a look at the data and I'll end up asking it four questions. So I've got some dealerships. I've got some car brands. I will expand the car brands just so you can see them right there. I've got a few reps listed in here. Invoice dates, they all happen to be the year 2024. But if you had multiple years, that would be okay. And then finally, revenue and cost, those are both numeric fields. I want to start off picking on the date field because I'm always looking at stuff for date. I would like to know the total revenue for each month. So let's let Copilot do it for us. Go to Copilot. Copilot loads. I've been in here playing before, so let's just keep on going. Total revenue by month. That's all I'm going to type. It comes back and it says, uh, first of all, it tells me the answer right here, which is pretty cool because I could copy this right here, throw that into an email, but it's also given me a pivot chart, which means it's got a pivot table with it. Let's go and put this into a new worksheet. I'm on sheet one right now. There is sheet number four. Perfect. That's exactly what I asked it for. And I even got a grand total down here for the year. Excellent. Back to sheet number one. So notice that I've got invoice date, which we just looked at. I don't have anything about quarter, but I just asked it for the total revenue by month. How about total revenue by quarter? Finishing up. Sheet number five right here. There you go. Quarters one through four for the year. Really cool. Now let's go do some other items. I'm looking over at those car brands. I'll expand that one more time just so you can see the car brands. Again, I'm making this question up. I want to know what is the top three car brands by revenue. Going to put this on a new sheet. There we go. Uh, I didn't ask for this, but I'd actually want to check this number right here. I could be checking all these Mazda right there. I'm just going to copy it back to sheet one. I'm going to paste the values. And let's just do a quick filter ourselves. Mazda. Highlight. Click on the word sum. Paste. Turn off the filter. Those numbers match, by the way. That's all. I'm just checking those numbers, and they do match. Last one, back in my data. What do you want to know? We've got some reps. Let's group revenue by rep. I probably could have typed total revenue for each rep. One thing I do like about Copilot, it seems to kind of understand what you're typing. Always reference your fields, which I'm doing dealership through cost. Sheet number seven, and there we go. Interesting, this time, instead of giving me a line chart, this is a bar chart, which is probably what I would have used also. I really love Copilot. It comes in Word, PowerPoint, Excel, Outlook, Teams. I'll be doing videos on those also. Feel free to subscribe again. Sign up for my classes. Have a great day.